you have a very strong background in, in agency work. If you were to put your agency hat back on, um, how would you say you could best use all of this n new data and new information in, in a standardizable way to help with posting and tracking? Well, as standardizability is crucially important. And uh, the objective, if I were still wearing an agency hat, would be the new business model for agencies, where agencies can kind of get off the ground uh, of uh, you know making money off of a one percent solution. Um, talking about media agencies, but whether it's media or creative agencies, and incidentally, if I were wearing an agency hat, I would want to put full service agencies back together again. But leaving that that four hour conversation aside, um, what? Okay, the, it's broken. You know, the business model is broken for agencies, and the way to fix it is with uh, getting paid for performance, measurable performance, ROI specifically, being able to have trust in an ROI measurement, whether it's marketing mix or TRA or some other single source or some combination, whatever it is, to be able to say if the ROI goes up according to this objective third party that we've both agreed on, the advertiser and the agency, then the agency will get this much more. And then that can turn the agency business around and make it hugely successful again, hugely profitable, and, and a business that will attract the cream of talent that it once had. Would you say any agencies are doing this today? Absolutely. I've, uh, I've had some conversations with a couple of agencies recently that are doing it. And they totally agree with what I just said. It's, it's not just my idea. So would you say that the days of buying media on age and gender are numbered? It's funny that you ask that because uh, Ad Age and TRA co-sponsored a breakfast last month. And uh, the panel at the breakfast, I was on the panel with uh, Dave Poltrak and Donna Special and uh, Bruce Lefkowitz from, from Fox. And... Um, Three out of four of us said, "Sex age is dead." I, I, I was the slightly dissenting voice. I said that it's you know kind of dying, but uh, right now, TRA clients on the brand side, representing about 1.4 billion dollars of TV spend this year, are using TRA to decide how to spend that 1.4 billion. But they're not throwing away sex age. A few brands are. A few brands are actually taking off the training wheels and going straight to purchase uh, targets without sex age. But the great preponderance of them are using both in combination. And I think it'll be a transition. I think sex age will be gone. Among those brands that are not using age sex at this point, going without the training wheels, um, do you have any idea of how they're doing and how, how they're posting and how they're reporting? Uh, we'll find out uh, in short order. They're all doing marketing mix and using our own single source ROI measures to see did that move the needle. Uh, when you look back in time and you say, what if we did a different kind of buy? Um, MediaVest, for example, at the ARF has presented three case studies of this, and we've done another six together since then. Uh, that in every case, the ROI goes up. And the lowest increase was 10%. So that was looking back and doing a what if. Now, actually doing it in the real world, we'll see you know, what it turns out to be. But uh, one of our clients, Mars, has agreed at the ARF in June next month to, uh, and we've got a place on the, on the podium to do this, to say how much their ROI went up as a result of using TRA. Well, I look forward to those results. I think that's going to be like a Fort Sumter moment. <laughs>